Newtone is ImageLine's pitch and time manipulation editor. Like Edison, it's designed to be used as a plugin inside FL Studio. We have a vocal loaded, so let's have a listen. The way we feel when we're around. So we're looking at an uncorrected raw vocal. Let's see what Newtone can do with it. The red line shows the moment by moment pitch. The blue blocks show detected notes. Over here, the light blue block shows the nearest semitone and the transparent one, the average pitch for the note. Large differences show notes that need pitch correction. You can right click a note to automatically correct it. These offsets are most obvious when you tweak the global pitch correction, the center knob. Along with the pitch variation and transitions knobs, this is a great way to quickly fix a performance. After global correction, notice there's still some within note pitch variation. That's a good thing if you want your vocal to sound natural. To preview and adjust the pitch of notes, put your mouse over the middle of the note. When the double arrow shows, click and drag left or right to preview, or up and down to change the pitch. Hold Alt for unsnapped pitching. The way we feel. What about more detailed editing? This C5 note shows some drift pitching up across the start. To fix this, we can use the advanced mode, which gives us some note by note controls. There are two ways of selecting advanced mode. Click the advanced mode switch, and then any note you mouse over will show the controls, or double click the note and the display will zoom, ready to edit in advanced mode. Advanced mode reveals nine controls along the top, middle, and bottom bars. Along the top, you have volume, note start, overall and end. The handles allow you to change the range over which the volume is affected. In the middle is note position. You can also click on the start and end of the note block to move or warp these points. Next along we have pitch. This is what you're grabbing in standard pitch mode and to the right, formant, which relates to throat size or sex. Down the bottom we have pitch for the note start and end. And finally, rather than absolute pitch, you can adjust pitch variation within the note. At the moment, I just want to tweak the start of the note, so I'll select the range and push the pitch back up. When we're around. New tone also makes it easy to slice notes, delete them, or move them around. When we're around. When we're Around, around. Next, let's look at Newtone's integration with FL Studio. I've loaded Newtone on a mixer track that has a vocal. If I drag the vocal from the audio clip and drop it on Newtone, we can then mute the original and get to work. This button slaves Newtone to FL Studio's transport. Let's extend the word slowly. I'll slice off the silence at the end and drag on it. So slowly. Once I'm done, I can send it back to the playlist with the send to playlist button. Harmonies are easy too. I'll select all the notes and transpose up by three semitones. Send it to the playlist and there it is. That's some nice integration. How about MIDI data? You can convert any new tone audio to a piano roll or MIDI file. 
I've loaded harmless and just need to select its channel to receive the MIDI data. Then press the copy to MIDI button. I'll just tidy up the unwanted glitches and even out the note volumes. MIDI audio, it's all seamless. I hope this gives you an idea of what you can do with Newtone. Until next time, enjoy thinking of ways to abuse Newtone. Tone.